So it happened. I've been quarantined here for the next 15 days. I talked to many of you inside of our Primal Body team and all around the world, you're experiencing something similar to this, you're being quarantined, can't travel anywhere, can't go to work, you're stuck inside. For me personally, I'm in Peru. I got quarantined for 15 days, mandatory for everyone here. Travel in and out of the country has been banned. The groceries here are just full of pandemonium crazy times and for some reason the toilet paper is just that's gone luckily I got some though I'm only allowed to go outside of my house to go get groceries or to go get medical supplies and if, if I do I mean they have cops patrolling around uh, I'll get thrown in jail for like a day so it's pretty hardcore over here President Trump may even send military over here to to get some US citizens and also I have a pretty crazy video that I shot off my own balcony here um, you won't believe what some of the people, what they're doing here. So I want to share with you that as well. So make sure to watch till the end of the video. But everything for me right now is good. I have internet, I have all the supplies I need. I'm here with my girlfriend and her sister. We're doing workouts. And I hope that you and your family at this time are staying healthy, you're staying safe, and you're doing okay. So today I want to give you something special here. This is basically paying homage to, because with this quarantine time, I get to think back on some of the masters who have influenced my training and some of your training with us on this channel. This routine comprises of three powerful exercises from one from yoga, from kung fu, ballet, put together in a light routine so it's not too taxing on your immune system but very powerful for increasing your flexibility, mobility, core strength, upper body strength, balance, coordination. And during this time, since we're all stuck inside, we have a special deal for you. All of our best body weight programs you can do inside your own home are available for a fraction of the price bundled together. Uh, you can check it out down in the description anytime during this video. All right, let's jump into this. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do that I learned from all these masters is the power of your breathing, the power of your breath. This is also gonna help lower your stress, boost your immune system. So right at the beginning, we're going to inhale through the nose, use the diaphragm, and I like to bring the arms in like you're gathering the energy, bring it up as you're inhaling, then exhale the arms down. And as you're bringing the arms down to your sides, really engage the shoulders by squeezing the scapulas back together and lower down slowly. You're gonna do this 10 to 15 times and then go into these exercises. The very first exercise is downward dog to plank. This was inspired by my master in yoga, Stefanos Kafatos. He taught us a lot in Hollywood of getting more flexible, getting pain-free. The downward dog is a fantastic exercise for increasing your hamstring flexibility, ankle mobility, and also opening up the shoulder angle. So the very first beginner modification, if you're just a beginner, we can use the chair for assistance here. Let's say if we're not too flexible on our hamstrings, we don't want to go to the ground. You're going to just step back small steps to a comfortable position. And the goal is to get the distance where you can go all the way down and perform basically a 90 degree angle here. And then popping up holding in that plank and back again, okay? Then intermediate level, we're gonna take it to the ground once you get that comfortable. We're gonna start off in a push-up plank. Make sure butt's squeezed, core's engaged. We're gonna bring the hips back and up. Try to open up here, create a nice A shape here. The feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width or even wider, whatever's more comfortable. And the goal is to try to have your heels on the ground, but if you can't, you can have them elevated. We're just gonna press through and then into that push-up plank. For the more advanced ninjas here, this is where we can add that push-up. You wanna get a little bit more upper body strength with this as well, which I'm a big fan of. You can add the push-up, so you're going back, down, slow and controlled into the push-up, and then repeat. And then if you're super advanced, what I like to do is add a little one-arm one arm variation. So you just go very slow and controlled, slide that arm forward, and then back. Now notice, when you're doing the one-arm push-up, all of the weight, or most of the weight's gonna be in that one arm. This one is just there to assist and help with balance. The second exercise is a movement inspired from Kung Fu training. Especially at this time, you're in the quarantine, apocalypse may occur, Kung Fu is definitely a crucial one. So big shout out to our Sifu Kisu. He's the one who introduced us to Kung Fu in Hollywood. He trained us in our backyard. We learned more than just the Kung Fu and the art itself, but many life lessons through Sifu Kisu. He's inspired millions around the world with his work on the Avatar The Last Airbender cartoon series. 
So what we're gonna do here is transfer through some stances. So we're gonna open up our hips here, increasing flexibility with the hip flexors, the upper back, the thoracic area. And we're also gonna work on some fundamentals of Kung Fu. We're going to get our feet wider than shoulder width apart, a comfortable position here. In Kung Fu, you're gonna to wanna to have your toes perfectly straight, but for most of us, having a slight turnout is okay. It's actually gonna help us get a little bit more uh, in, into a lower position, as we'll talk about here in a second. So you're gonna stay in this position. And all we're gonna do, first start off by clenching our fist, wrapping them underneath, so you're opening up these shoulders here, and bringing the arms with the elbows close to the sides, to the hips. And all we're gonna do to start off with is just work on rotating from the feet, then the hips, and rotating to one side, back to square, and then to the other. Notice I'm lifting up this heel here. This is a modification. In Kung Fu, we keep the heels down, but for this, we're going more athletic, giving you a little bit more movement here, more mobility or more range here. So you're lifting up the heels and we're just rotating side to side, turning the hips over, okay? So we're really stretching here. And then we're gonna add the punch. So we're going from the hips here, rotating the hand and fist as we're going forward into a horizontal punch. And we're just going back and forth. And then when we're more advanced, what you're going to do here is go lower in the stance. We're gonna purposely go down into the horse, and then we're gonna turn and rotate again, initiating from the feet, rotating the, the feet in the, in the position here, and then throw that punch. Down, up, down, up. And then if you're more advanced, we can go down lower and stay in this low position. And then we're turning into those stances. Staying low. And again, we're trying to create straight lines here. Now, I briefly went over the Kung Fu technique here. There's a lot more to it, a lot more detail, and that's gonna be have to be saved for another video. All right, this third exercise is inspired by dance, ballet. We were taught by Caitlin Geyer, an incredible dancer, dance instructor. She really taught us how to align our bodies for athletic movement, improve our balance, our endurance, and our jumping power. As a beginner or even as advanced, you may find wearing socks for this to be beneficial. And as a beginner, you can have something like a chair for assistance to help balance. We're gonna stand in our first position in ballet. Okay, so we're gonna bring our feet together, lean back, put the weight in our heels, and we're gonna bring our toes out as wide as we can comfortably, whatever that spot is that's comfortable. Okay, that's gonna be your first position. We're gonna maintain this position throughout this entire exercise. The first level is this. Draw nice, smooth, and controlled circles below, basically grazing the ground and working on your balance here. Big problem here is a lot of people like to raise up their hips. We wanna keep the hips square and level here, okay? Everything needs to stay level and good alignment, but just your leg is moving, okay? Okay, the intermediate level is you're going to lift up higher with the leg, going around in circles. Other intermediate is not using the chair at all, holding in the ballet position. If you wanna do the arms here, you can have the arms. And then as you improve, you're going wider, further and further. I still have a lot to work with on that. And if you're advanced ninja here, what you can do is close your eyes. This is gonna make the balance much harder. And what you're gonna do is both of these leg circles on each leg. So you're gonna do 30 seconds on one, 30 seconds on the other. So now that you know the exercise, what you're gonna do is perform each exercise for one minute. I recommend start off with the beginner and then moving up to advance as you progress. Perform each exercise one after another, creating a light three minute circuit. And if you're strong enough, you can perform this for multiple rounds. Also, a big shout out to the Masters and the Blue 8 group for inspiring and motivating this video. All right, so give that routine a try. It's gonna get you moving better and feeling better. Now, if you like this style of training, bodyweight exercises, you can do all in home. That's gonna get you more flexible, get you leaner, get you stronger, and get your body to reach its full potential, whether that's in bodyweight skills or learning a new discipline or getting rid of that pain. Then check out the bundle down in the description. This is where you can access all of our in-home programs, all of them for a fraction of the cost. Now I gotta share with you what I captured off my balcony here. I couldn't believe what I saw. And at this time, the quarantine just happened. I was thinking things through because my flights got canceled. Uh, pandemonium was in the grocery stores. Uh, I wasn't gonna see my brother. I was planning on seeing my brother in a couple weeks. I'm stuck here. I'm a little worried about this military enforced quarantine, seeing you know police patrolling. And I'm sitting, thinking all this through in my in my house and then I hear this roar of people I'm like 
oh man, what is this, like a, is this a riot about to start? So I go walk to the edge of the balcony and it's not a riot going on. It's people cheering. You see at 8 p.m. here, they have a curfew. And when this curfew hit, people came out to the balconies and cheered and clapped and supported each other. And what this showed is, no matter different walks of life, foreigners, we're all humans here experiencing the same thing. We're in the same type of situation. And we're here to support each other. We all want to make this, make it through on the other side. And it was really a beautiful thing to see. So many of us all around the world are in a similar situation. And just know that we're all in this together. We're gonna make it through on the other side. We're gonna be okay, all right? And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.